getting the array size. Let's start by writing out the code first of all. So let's uh, declare an array type variable. We want it to be empty this time. So let's make an empty array. Next what we're going to do is we're going to assign three elements. And we want to assign these three elements uh, using a for loop. So let's do that now. So for $i equals 0. Now this is just a quick refresher on the for loop again. We're, we're starting i at 0 and then while i is less than 5 we're going to keep looping and adding up. And remember what we do in a for loop we open a small code block just like so with a curly brace and now what we want to do is we want to loop through the array one by one each element and we're going to assign basically five elements in the array. The way we're going to assign it, we're going to assign it as a number and a string. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a line indent. So it's going to have the full the full um, string. This is element and then dollar i. So we'd replace that i with 0, 1, 2, 3 until 5. Very simple to follow. Now to combine this lesson with the previous lesson of listing array elements, we've started by first giving um, element values inside an array. So filling up that array called ARR and next what we're doing now is we're going to retrieve the values inside that array using the for each. So this is just a bit more practice for you now. So all we've created is a for each loop and we're saying the array ARR which is the name of the array and we're saying as value. So now it's basically going to insert each value inside the array one by one in here and what we want to do is we want to echo out the values that are stored in each element so once we do that it would loop through the array and it would retrieve this is element 0 this is element 1 this is element 2 and so on until 5 is complete so what we want to do now is we want to uh, achieve the target of this lesson which is learning how to get the size of the array which could be very very useful especially if you if you don't know the size and you want to somehow um, identify the size so to find the size what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable called size you don't have to do it this way but we'll we'll just do that first and we're gonna assign the function count and we'll put the array size just there now what count does that actually uh, counts the number of elements inside the array. So you could have just easily said echo count array and it would have printed out the size. But I'm doing it in step by step so you can actually follow. And now what we're going to do is we're going to write an echo statement and we're going to print, just print in the next line, total number of elements in the array and we put dollar size. And that's it, the program's finished. So it's a very short and simple program. You can copy it and try it out in your NetBeans or we'll practice later on in NetBeans together. So you can see that we started off by creating an array and the way to create an array you type the variable name that you want to desire. We can change that to element for example um, elements. We can call it anything we want and we put in the type that we want to create it which is going to be an array. So it's going to have different elements. Now it's an empty array as you can see um, and then next what we're doing is we created a, a for loop which counts to 5 and each time it assigns a new value into i and base oh right so we've done a little mistake here as you can see it says equals equals it should be brackets it should be like that so uh, basically what we've got we've got an array and we've identified the dollar i as the position in the array which is zero here and in a zero position we're entering this is element and we we assigning zero here so that's the first value in the array and then once once we've completed that and we've entered five element values in the array we using the for each loop to go through the array and echo each element out of the array. So the uh, element in array position 0 would be this is element 0. So we change that name now because we, that's what we did up there. We're going to call it elements. So elements i, elements 0 is this is element 0. Very simple. And obviously here we have to change it because we've changed the name. We're going to call it elements 
and it goes through it and because we've changed the name here we want to change it here as well otherwise the program won't work so very simple it counts all the, the number of elements inside the array called elements and it just basically prints out the statement and the size 